All right, so today, guys, I'm going to be showing you the best 10 class setups in Season 6 on Modern Warfare. So real quick, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. Now, I haven't made this video in a super long time of the best class setups after updates or whatever and stuff like that. Well, there hasn't been really much stuff to cover for, like, weapon tunings and nerfs and buffs and stuff like that. So these are the classes I've been using, and they're updated with everything, like all the patches and buffs and nerfs. So they are updated. So if you guys do like these... Do make sure to hit that like button as well. 82% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel that watched the video. So if you guys could, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications for all videos. You guys will not regret watching these videos. I show you the best class setups, tips and tricks, and the craziest gameplays I can possibly get on any Call of Duty I'm playing. But anyways guys, let's go ahead and show you the best 10 class setups in Modern Warfare. So for the first class here, we have the AS Val. Now this is the brand new weapon that just dropped in update 1.27, aka Season 6. Now, I, I see I already have this Damascus, and this class is pretty good and good in hardcore, warzone, multiplayer, whatever. Um, so we're going to be going through these. Now for the barrel, I'm going to be using the VLK 200mm OSA. Now it's going to help with dam damage at range and bullet velocity. So this is going to make the gun better at longer distances and kind of match up with those guns that are really good at a longer distance like DMRs, LMGs, sniper rifles, and other assault rifles and submachine guns that are good at long distance so this is very good now next is going to be the ranger foregrip we're going to be running the ranger foregrip due to recoil control and aiming stability now having control of your weapon is super super important and uh, just that's what makes you win most of your gunfights is recoil control and as well having stability of your weapon that brings aiming stability in here now having your weapon stable when you know tracking someone down using your iron sights or just in general aiming down sights when you're about to shoot is very important but it's more important for snipers but aiming stability is with the ranger foregrip which makes it a little bit better next is going to be the 30 round mag now you're going to want to run the 30 round mag just because you don't want to have 20 bullets or you don't want to have 10 these are actually broken right now you can actually shoot through the whole entire map and it's super overpowered but this is going to get nerfed very soon i mean very soon probably tomorrow but the 30 round mag is uh you know the best option here you know it gives you 10 more rounds and it gives you a little bit more time to be more aggressive not have to reload as much every other kill and stuff like that so this is why i'm running the 30 round mag we're going to be running the rubberized grip tape for attachment number four. This is going to help with more recoil control, which is very, very helpful. And then finally, we're going to be using the fully loaded uh, perk for the weapon to give us more ammo. This is very important because this, uh, the AS Val has its own type of bullet, so you can't pick up Rufus Zeres on, unless they're on running the AS Val. And for the class setup, I am running the Renettis on every single class, so we're just going to go through the primaries and the perks. But for the uh, Renetti, if you want to know the class, it's the MK3 Burst Mod with Tack Laser, Lightweight Trigger, 27 round mag, and then the XRK Speed Grip. Now for this class, it's very important. I'm running Scavenger so I can pick up enemy reserves like the Scav Packs after I kill them. So it's very helpful for the Val. This is the only class I run Scavenger for, so you want to run that. I run Restock and I run Shrapnel because I run the Simtexes. Now, the C4s got extremely, ex I mean, terribly nerfed. And um, honestly, they killed C4. Like, it's not even a nerf. They killed the C4. It's not good in the game anymore. So I am running the Simtex with Restock Shrapnel mix is very good. And then we're running Stem Shot for our Tactical, which is very good. Now, next is going to be the MP5. Now, this is like if I need a try hard and just need to go crazy for a little bit and just drop a lot of kills or something like that or clutch up in a game where people are trying. I'm going to pull the MP5 out and we're going to be running the monolithic integral suppressor. Now, this is just going to help us have sound suppression and bull velocity. And as well, the monolithic suppressor is built into this weapon. So, of course, it gives us damage at range, which is very, very good. So, uh, the bullet velocity is pretty important as well. That means that the bullets will be traveling faster in time before it drops off or they'll be traveling in air faster before it drops off so that's gonna be very good so technically you get a faster time to kill because the bullets will be traveling faster if they're in that vicinity of that area before it drops off so it's very helpful next is gonna be the tack laser now the tack laser is gonna be very helpful because we got one aim down sight speed two aiming stability and then three we have aim walking steady in this so this can be really nice just because of you know Aim down sight speed the most important thing but as well you know having aiming stability and walking and having steadiness while walking is very important as well because if you need a strafe your gun stays stable more and you can hit your shots more while you know strafing back and forth while aiming down sights which is very helpful 
we're gonna be running the ranger foregrip due to recoil control and aiming stability it's gonna help us just be more have control of our weapon which is very important and aiming stability as well keeping your stable gun very important 45 round mag this is gonna help us be more aggressive you already know the mp5 is really good at killing fast so having 45 round bullets of oh, just 45 bullets is very very helpful you can flank around the map you have don't have to reload as much and stuff like that and then finally we're running stipple grip tape so we can run aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed this is going to help us be more aggressive because one we'll aim down sight quicker and then two we'll be able to shoot faster off a sprint which will help us be in those gunfights. very very helpful and then for the perks we're running eod restock shrapnel with Simtex and Stimshot. I don't run C4s anymore, so that is my new lethal is the Simtexes. But as you see, we have EOD on instead of Scavenger, which is very nice. Now, next is the MP7. Now, this is another try hard class I like to run. This is a, uh, if the MP5 ain't working, I'll pull out the MP7 and see if it works. But what I'm running on it is the FSS Recon. Uh, this is gonna be very helpful for damage at range, bolt velocity, and recoil control, just to help us be more, uh, have more control of our weapon and have extra damage at range and stuff like that for longer gun distant gunfights. Very, very helpful. We're gonna be running no stock for movement speed and aim down sight speed. This is gonna help us be more aggressive with that run and gun feature we'll have on our gun now. We'll have stipple grip tape, aim down sight speed, and sprint to fire speed. Again, help us be more aggressive when it comes to just being in gunfights. Be, be the first person to aim down sights first, and also be the first person to shoot off a sprint faster. So that's very, very helpful. Next is going to be the 60 round mag. 60 round mag is just going to help us be more aggressive. We don't have to reload as much and we don't have to reload if we're in a gunfight or anything like that. So that's very, very helpful. So we're running the 60 round mag and then we're running Ranger foregrip for recoil control and aiming stability, which is very helpful. Now for our next class, we're going to be running the M4A1. That's going to be very helpful. I'm going to be running the monolithic suppressor for uh, damage at range and sound suppression. Very helpful. The stock M16 Grenadier Barrel for damage at range, bolt velocity, and recoil control. We're also going to be running Commando Foregrip for recoil stabilization and aiming stability. This is going to help us be more, have more control of our weapon, very overpowered. 60 round mag so we don't have to reload as much and so we just can be more aggressive, just run and gun, constantly be shooting and stuff which is very helpful. And then rubberized grip tape to have more recoil control for our weapon which is very, very nice. So the M4A1 is a very nice class setup. Now next is going to be the AUG. Now this AUG class is very nice. This is the Season 6 AUG from the Blueprint. It actually shoots white tracers. Now I kept almost everything the same here. I took off the scope that it came with. But I kept the 407 extended barrel on. Commando foregrip. We added uh, the, we have, still have the 5.6 NATO rounds. We have stipple grip tape and then sleight of hand. This is a really good class as well. You guys will really enjoy it. We have the uh, CR-56 AMAX, a.k.a. the Galil. Now, this is one of my favorite weapons, I'm not going to lie. We're going to be running monolithic suppressor for damage at range and sound suppression. The XRK Zodiac S440 for damage at range, bolt velocity, and recoil control. This is going to be very helpful at longer distances. Three, commando foregrip for recoil stabilization and aiming stability. We have our 45 round mag for you know just be more aggressive and stuff like that because i think the cr56 needs more ammo and then finally we run the rubberized grip tape to keep our weapon steady and just have no recoil whatsoever this class is very very good you guys will like it next is gonna be the uzi now this uzi class is a slapper you guys will really like this class i am running the fss carbine uh pro barrel that's gonna help with damage at range bolt velocity and recoil control this is a very good barrel we're going to be running tack laser for aim down sight speed, aim stability, and aim walking steadiness. This is going to be just helpful helpful for aim down sight speed and keeping our weapon steady. Three, uh, we have the ranger foregrip on for recoil control and aiming stability. Now, the Uzi doesn't really have good iron sights, so having your weapon stable is going to be very, very helpful. Same thing with the tack laser. It's going to keep our weapon more stable, so it is very, very helpful when it comes to using the Uzi. Next is the .41 AE 32 round mag. This is going to help with damage and it's going to help with range. So it's going to be very helpful just to have stronger bullets, run around faster, kill people faster. Very helpful. And then rubberized grip tape for the final thing to keep our weapon stable and no recoil whatsoever. That's a no recoil Uzi class setup right there. Now next, this is the AK-47 that comes into the... Uh, the battle pass is called the gilded arm now i i kept everything the same besides one thing i have muzzle brake on the gi mini reflex the skeleton stock rubberized grip tape and the only thing i removed was the the 5.4539 
the millimeter 30 round mag and i just put on the 40 round mag in general because the 762 rounds are stronger so you get to kill people faster very helpful we have the m13 one of my favorite weapons in the game i am running the monolithic suppressor the tempest marksman barrel 60 round mag rubberized grip tape and the m13 skeleton stock now this is a really good weapon to keep us you know very you know crazy we go we it just this weapon is just really overpowered i love this class it up it's very nice and then finally we have our sniper class the phase up 360 no scope got them class it up i like this one it's a one shot one kill we have for the 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 uh the barrel we have the spr 26 inch barrel that's going to help with damage at range bolt velocity and recoil control next is the solo zero spr 28 millimeter uh scope we have the xrk sp elite 208 blitz stock that's going to help with aim down sight speed wa aim walking movement speed and sprint to fire very helpful for quick scoping we have for the bolt assembly we have the sloan kr 600 feather bolt assembly is going to help us cock our weapon back shoot faster and then finally we're running the point 30 uh the point 338 lupa mag 5r mags is going to be the best ones it helps with the shoots better stronger and just all, all together it's just the best one in, in the game but anyways guys that is really it for the class setups i didn't want to get too boring going in depth with each attachment here but anyways guys if you did like that if you want me to keep these up let me know in the comment section guys and as well let me know in the comment section what was your favorite class setup to run but anyways guys thanks for watching and again 82 percent of you guys are not watching the uh are watching the videos that are not subscribed so if you guys could hit that sub button and turn on post notifications like i say i upload the best class setups tips and tricks and the best gameplays i possibly can get so if you guys are new hit that red button turn on the bell and i'll catch you on the next video peace